slow to get up from the tackle. Clarkson and Matongo. Ben Tibbs has work to do. And almost got through. There were four defenders there, so he's probably never going to get all the way. But loose pass. Jufri had to bend down to take it. Halifax using full width to the field again. In comes Woodburn Hall. Out to Wandley. Wandley round the outside. And Halifax with champagne rugby across the width of the field. Ben Tibbs looked like uh, he had half a chance, but that might have been where York's down forward. Too many defenders on this side of the field. Jufri had to suit for the pass. Tangata to Keys and Woodburn all into the line. And Lachlan Wormsley. Off you go, beat Joe Brown. And Wormsley in for try number 18 of 2022. And Halifax get the first score of the match when it looked as though York might, York might come up with it initially. But what a fantastic try for Malifax, a full width of the field going coast to coast. And Keys over from the touchline. Joe Keys, 140 points for the season before tonight. With six tries and 58 goals, that's now 59. And Halifax supporters will be hoping that they're going to see him kick a few more this evening. Walmsley claiming that York could try to pull it out. Jufri gets it away. Matty G's got the step, gets it inside. And there's another man that can't stop scoring. Daniel Murray, another try. Eighth of the season for Daniel Murray. And he's strolling in for fun, is Murray. Matty G had the step, sent Alice the wrong way. Had a bit of a chance to get back, but Matty G, well, I'm not sure really Liam Alice fancied taking on Matty G. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't want to, but Matty G knew instinctively that Daniel Murray had been support on the inside, as he seems to be so often. And Halifax, don't make a mistake this time. Kick in front of the post to double the lead to 12 points to nil. On 18 minutes. Well, Halifax know they won't be able to uh, rest on the laurels and think this is by any means over. But it's a healthy lead. And he's immediately stepped into the line looking to go through but uh, Jacob Fairbank there with a great tackle. With a bit of help from Murray O'Hagan. Kicks and here we go. Woodburn all. It's a race to the other end of the field. And Woodburn all has put the pedal down. Nobody's going to get him. Nobody's going to. Well, if they do, it's too late because Ben Tibbs is on the end of it. What a, another blistering piece of play from James Woodburn all. Well, O'Hagan took the chance of a kick, trying to catch the defence off the outside of the foot. And Woodburn Hall was steaming down the middle of the field. Levi Edwards, the nearest York player, but he wouldn't got anywhere near. He managed to get a hand on Tibbs as he went over, but it was too late then because Tibbs had already put the ball down and extended the Halifax lead to Halifax 16, York City Knights nil. Well, the alertness of uh, James Woodburn all then. Two from two. And that is going to be three from three for Joe Keys.
Job looking right, but coming left. Where he finds Thompson. Thompson has a drop off ball to Paulie Paulie, who gets up, plays it quickly. Job to Thompson. Last tackle. Can Halifax all out? Paulie Paulie is over it on the right hand side, but it's gone to O'Hagan on the left. Is he going to try and kick through again? He is. Clarkson, did Clarkson get his hand to it? Well, there's no call back from the Toots judges. And O'Hagan's kick has uh, worked for York this time. And Kevin Laroya. Jub uses the short side, looks for Clarkson. And finds him and Clarkson gets over the York 30 metre line as the uh, half hour ticks over in this first half. And O'Hagan will go for a 40 20. And he'll get a 40 20. Will Brendan O'Hagan. Halifax outside backs not dropping back quickly enough or deep enough they stopped two metres out big test of the Halifax defence they've been defending now for three sets of six and Jub well that could have been called as an obstruction did he run into his own player there oh, good job there were a few Halifax players about and here comes Edwards Levi Edwards stopped eventually a metre away have Halifax got too many players in the centre of the field because uh, there could be a long pass out wide here Ellis gets it away but Halifax there to tackle alert in defence the last one of this set of six can Halifax hold out for another another one no they can't they'll give the uh, They'll surrender to the dropout under the post. Well, Halifax, this Halifax line is being bombarded with the uh, number of tackles that York are being uh, allowed against Halifax, wiping the slate clean there again, back to zero. Paulie to Thompson. Thompson can't get out of the tackle. Halifax working double overtime in defence trying to keep these York City Knights away O'Hagan gets it to Clarkson and Clarkson gets flattened Halifax hunting in packs in defence well that's not the uh, that's not the move that York wanted O'Hagan kicks through was well, it this time it's another drop out under the post is it that looked like a late challenge from uh, Danny Kermont behind the post referee choosing to ignore it well, he's stopping the clock while the uh, Halifax player receives some uh, medical attention saving the Halifax line but uh, at what cost as York will get the ball back with five minutes left of the first half O'Hagan lets it run and uh, Ronan Michael, what a clash! Jacob Fairbank coming off second best of that, I think. Well, he's back up to his knees. His Fairbank seems to be all right. What a huge clash! I think. I feel certain it wasn't the heads that clashed there because I don't think they got up that quickly. If it had been, but Michael, well, maybe I don't know. It's Jacob Fairbank's head went back. And it looks like Ronan Michael is going for a HIA. Jacob van Bearbank also making that uh, same trip. Well, managing to nullify even to keep people away in here. Paulie Paulie, the shouts of a forward pass. And Paulie Paulie has been stopped. Four men to stop him. And Jub. Goes for the uh, glory, but gets tackled. It's the last one. Where's it going this time? Well, it's gone to Thompson. He's looked for O'Hagan for the kick out wide. Warms the weight, so while the man comes down, puts it inside, and Joe Keys is tackled into touch. So this could be more possession. Could it for York City night? Two minutes, 39 seconds. Halifax to hold out yet again 
O'Hagan out to Clarkson. Clarkson to Levi Edwards. And Halifax trying to hold Edwards up and get him up. Rooks line. Ball's thrown away in desperation. O'Hagan goes down on it. And he gets flattened by Solenstall. And Jufre looking for a, a knock on there. Clarkson. Well, they're not going to push him to the touch line. They nearly had Edwards over though. Jub to Harris. Harris O'Hagan will try the long pass over the top. But still, the Halifax line is intact. The touch just flags go up. And Halifax celebrate like they've won the match. Let alone a set of six by putting the York player out. And finally, with a minute and a half on the clock, they're going to get the ball back. Matongo charging towards the Halifax line. Halifax beginning the second half as they did the first. Conceding penalty and defending the line. Pauli Pauli charging for the line. And this time it looks like he may have got over. As he you know, Halifax have managed to stop him. And Pauli Pauli is pretty upset now because the referee has said he's knocked it on over the line. Leroy charges forward. Joe Keyes sends Kavanagh through a gap through the middle. Ben Keyes is looking for support. Unfortunately, there's nobody there. Harris able to slow him down enough. And now they're getting back. Six more tackles for Halifax. This could be a perfect start if they can get over the line. Fairbank gets to within six or seven metres Kyle Wood out to Jufre long ball out wide and the defence is not there for Halifax Tibbs is over again but held up says the referee well Kavanagh strode through the defence early in that tackle count Halifax needs somebody else to do the same Joe Keys, Jufre Kavanagh gets it away out quickly to Wormsley and Wormsley Gets the ball back to Woodburn Hall. Halifax with Jufre. Long pass out. Three men. Oh, Leroy has kept the ball to himself with three men outside him. Halifax won't get the quick enough play of the ball. Jufre over the top and the pass has gone forward. And the chance may have gone for Halifax there. Kevin Leroy went for the glory when he had three men outside him. And that should have been a walk-in. Kyle Wood out to Brandon Moore. Joe Keys out to Wood Bernal, who might get the step on but won't get away from Jamie Ellis, one of the biggest scrum halves in the championship. Last tackle back to Joe Keys. And that one is to put pressure on again. Wormsley. Oh, great tackle from Wormsley. Joe Keys, who makes the kick, will go over for Halifax. And it's try time again for Halifax. Well, it looked like. Uh, it was covered when the kick came from Keyes but the tackle, the chase of the tackle from Lachlan Wormsley just waited perfectly Harris couldn't keep hold of the ball and Joe Keyes went over for a possible breakthrough try for Halifax in this game Always oh, key who was going to get the uh, important first try of the second half, and it was Joe Keys and Halifax somehow picking herself up from defending, goes to the other end and score. And Joe Keys has once again converted his own try. And the Halifax lead is now 20 points, four scores, 17 minutes to go. We get down less than 15 minutes. Glover. Eight to four, the penalty count in favour of York. And that one might not find the uh, touch line and Wormsley goes back to collect it. Halifax are alert enough. Wormsley's going to get past the first man. 
Uh, we will get past the second, but six more tackles. There was a, a tug at the foot from one of the York City Knights defenders, and now York are offside, and Halifax get the penalty back. So we'll probably go back with a kick to where it started, where York had the penalty. And Halifax ready to fight again at this York City Knights. Supporters again raising the voices in the south stand. Tangata into Matongo and Thompson, and they needed a little bit of help on the way back from a couple of players. Jufre gets the ball out to Woodburn. Oh, looking for a second. For a second try in the second half, will it belong? Oh, the, is that Louis Jufre doing what he did at Odsell? It's Jufre doing exactly what he did at Odsell against the Bradford Bulls, picking up, nipping him from dummy half. Well, York can't say they weren't one because it's not the first time he's done that this season, and he's looking away, lining up the players. And he just gets in between the two defenders on the try line. Twenty-four point lead. Kick to come from Keys. And that's another one from Joe Keys. Halifax have managed to keep him quiet for most of this game and they keep him quiet for the six and a half minutes that remain with Halifax leading 30 points to four Jub goes on his own as he got it down the well, Yorks players think so and so does the referee don't feel so bad about it because of the uh, the defensive effort that they're putting in that last 10 minutes of the first half must have been quite shattering physically Colcott looking for the gap and almost finding it and that's going to be a penalty Pauli Pauli stealing the ball three and a half minutes left and what we're doing are we just going well the kicking team looks like it's coming on Rub a bit of salt in, give Keys another opportunity with two point, two more points. Instrumental in so much Halifax have done this afternoon with half back partner Louis Ufre. <laughs> A late penalty. I don't think they'd disagree, but I don't think they'd mind if he were a collective man of the match. And there's Joe Keyes managing to steal the ball as Woodburn all. Rag to the ground by Glover. Or is it Glover? Brown, sorry. Joe Brown, the winger. Ben Tibbs is going to have another go. And off he goes, running at the referee, running at the defence. Lachlan Walls left. Just then a little bit too late. Tibbs didn't want to risk the pass. Joe short side to Rundle. Wormsley on his way to the corner. Second try for Wormsley. Quick hands in at the corner. But Ben Tibbs will look like he might have gone the distance till the York defenders got to him. Joe Keyes looking right and switching it left. Rundle, Barber and Lachlan Wormsley. Another dramatic dive into the corner. And another double 
for Lachlan Warmbly. Two tries, two year deal, two points. Good night for Halifax again.